Welcome to this quick demo video of Mail Conversio. Mail Conversio is an all-in-one email conversion booster suite that turns your email broadcast into a profit pulling machine simply by using these amazing AI tools to drive more engagement and make your email more interactive. Once you're logged into your Mail Conversio, this is what the dashboard looks like. First, we'll be creating booster elements. Simply click on the Create Campaign button. These are the booster elements. After creating each of these elements, I'm going to be showing you how to embed these elements on your email while you send to your client. First, I'll be showing you with the QR code element. Click on the button to open the element. Enter the campaign name. Enter the URL link. You can also change the color of the QR code to your preferred color. Once you've made the changes, click on the save element. This is where you copy your embed code. Click on the copy button over here to copy the embed code. Head over to your email address and control V to paste the copied embed code. Okay, looking amazing. Then click send. So I'll be showing you what it looks like at the receiving end. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the receiving end, like so. Okay, so I will head back to Mail Conversio. So the next element is the Google Map element. Fill out the campaign name, enter the header text. So go to the Google Map, click on the location, copy the address or the name, paste on the location, Okay, so it pops out the location on the map, as you can see right here on the preview. Okay, so here you can adjust the text size from here. And you can also change the color, the background color, the text background color. Okay, so once you're done making changes, click on the save element, like I showed you previously, to copy the embed code then straight to your email. Next is the countdown timer. Okay, with the countdown timers, you can send the uh, countdown, a timer like to your product or to a webinar. You can, you can tie it to anything. Okay, so first enter the campaign name. Choose the date to the uh, countdown. Choose your time zone. Okay, you can enter your header text like a call to action or something. All right, so here, here, here's a preview to the countdown timer. Here, this is where you change the text color and the background color. Once you're done, click on the save button right here. Next is the forms and questionnaire element. Fill out the campaign name. Enter the question. Click here to add your options. And the, uh, the field type. The field type, we have the text, we have email, we have um, URL and the drop down. So I'll be using text. So click on the save form, as you can see here. So to add more options, you click on add option. Click on the save form. You can also add more options. Save form. Okay, you can also edit from here. Simply click on the edit button. Then, then click on save. And you can also delete from here too. Simply click on the delete field and you delete it. All right. Okay, so this is the submit text button. This is where you can adjust the text color and the background color. So I'll just change the text color to white and the background color to, uh, yeah, to this color. Okay, so once you're done making your selection, click on the save element button to copy the embed code. Next is a rating and ranking element. 
Okay, so with this rating and ranking element, this is where you create, like you get a feedback to your product or a webinar or a tutorial, anything like making your email to be engaging and interacting. Okay, so to create this ranking, fill out the campaign name, enter your question. Okay, so we have different templates for the rankings. So we have the star template, we have the uh, emoji template, we have the uh, words, and we also have the thumbs up, thumb down. From here, you can toggle the button to enable your custom thank you URL. So I'm going to leave it at default. So once you're done, click on the save element button. Next is the CTA element. Okay, so CTA is to get your clients to act on the offer or a proposed something or project. So with this, just fill out the campaign name, fill out the CTA text, enter the redirect link. Okay, so this is where you can adjust your button. You can adjust the, the, the radius size of your button from here. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. You can also adjust the text size button from here. So you can also change the color. So once you're done, click on the save element. Next is the pool vote survey element. So this is how you basically set it up. Enter the campaign name. Then enter your question. So here, this is where you add your options. You can also change the text color and the background color. I'm going to leave it at default. Click on the save option. Okay, you can add another option. You can still add more options. Okay, so you have the options to edit, to delete. Okay, so I'll be editing this. Simply click on it. Click on the save button so you can see. And you can delete as well. Simply click on the delete field and off it goes so once you're done making your selection click on the save element button okay so next we have the image placeholder element okay so with this image placeholder element is basically adding your personalized gif so this can make your email more engaging and interacting uh showing their feelings and how truly they feel about a particular product so to set this up enter the campaign name be here to select the image you can upload from your local computer you can add from an existing image already you have on your library or you can search out here on the giphy so uh, you can just type a word to search I think I should go with this. I'll go with this instead. Okay, so looking nice. Okay, so you can, here you can enable your personalized test. So this is where you place your text. You have the left, we have the center and the right. So I'll leave it at the center. So you can also change your text color and the text size. Okay, you can enter your URL link is optional. So I'm going to leave it at default. So once you're done making your changes, this is the preview. Click on the save element button. Okay, so next is the yes and no bar element. So fill out the campaign name, enter your question. Enter your yes button and your no button. You can also um, enable or redirect url for the yes and the no button but i'm going to leave it at default um, you can also adjust the text color over here and also the background button color so once you're done click on the save element button 
to copy your embed code. Next is the social badges element. With the social media badges element, okay, so this is an avenue to get your clients to follow you on your social handle. So just fill out the campaign name, enter the header test, enter the URL to the social media. All right, so you can also choose a, a different icon template. As you can see, we have different types. Okay, so once you're done making your selection, click on the save element button to copy the embed code. Okay, next is a progress bar element. This is a way of tracking the progress of a product or a business or a number of things you name it anything at all so to set this up fill out the campaign name enter your title then and the percentage the, the percentage most preferred percentage anything at all anything it can be 80 anything so i'll leave it at 40 Okay, so we have uh, the redirect link. Then this is where you can change the background color to your preferred color. Looking nice. Okay, so once you're done making out, making selection and the changes, this is what the preview looks like. Click on the save element to copy the embed code. Okay, next is the Facebook post element this is very amazing and useful and it comes in handy okay for example you saw a post a video to be precise and you want to share to your client to anybody simply go to your facebook click on the video then copy the link copy the link okay so enter the campaign name Ctrl V to paste the link. You can also paste the redirect link, optional. And this is what the preview looks like. Okay, so as you can see right here, then once you're done, click on the save element button. Right. Okay, so the next element is the Instagram. Is the Instagram element. This is pretty cool enter the campaign name okay so open your instagram click to copy the link copy the link head back ctrl v to paste the link then the redirect link as well so this is what the preview looks like so click on the save element button so next is the Twitter, Twitter account. Click this share icon to copy the link. So head back to your mail converts you, fill out the details. Ctrl V to paste the link. Paste the redirect link. Here's what the preview looks like. Click on the save element button to copy the embed code. Next is the Pinterest. Open your Pinterest account. So fill out the required details. Head back to your Pinterest. Click on the share button. Copy the link. Head back, Ctrl V, paste the link. And enter your redirect link. This is what the preview looks like. Click on the save element button to copy the embed code. So next we have the LinkedIn post element. Fill out the required detail. Copy a link to from your LinkedIn account. Head back. Ctrl V to paste the link. Enter your redirect link. Okay, so this is the preview. Then once again, click on the save element button once you're done to copy the embed code. 
okay so next is the tiktok button simply click on the share button to copy the link here yeah. copy so fill out the required details ctrl v to paste the link enter your redirect link here's a preview of what your post looks like right here okay so click on the save element button to copy the embed code okay so next is the youtube video copy the link fill out the required details ctrl v to paste the video link enter your redirect link so this is a preview here you can enable your text okay so there is also a play button right here click on this button so you can select we have several so many okay so um once you're done making your selection and edit so click on the save element button okay so next is the vimeo element fill out the required detail so copy the link to a vimeo video ctrl v to paste the link enter the redirect link okay so this is what the preview looks like right so you can also enable a personalized test so enter the personalized test then adjust the test okay so you can also enable a play button to make your selection from here so i'll just leave it at as it is so once you're done click on the save element to copy the embed code okay so next we have the blog post element fill out the required detail head to a blog site copy the link ctrl v to paste the link enter the redirect link okay so this is a preview of to your blog post this is a preview all right so once you're done click on the save element button to copy the embed code okay so next we have the person personalized signature element enter the campaign name click on select image upload from your local computer So once you're done, click on the save element button to copy the embed and send. So next, uh, we have the all campaigns. Okay, so this is where you see the number of uh, boosters element you've created so far. And also the mail converts your pro the number of pro you've created so far okay so next we have the spam checker okay so this is how it works here okay so check for spam words or you can see the total words the spam absolutely amazing Okay, so next we have the Mail Conversio Pro. Okay, so inside we have the email creator, we have the article post, uh, the pass, we have the ADA, we have the testimonial, the long content summarizer, sentence and spander, and the suggestion tool. Okay, for the email uh, creator, we have a welcome email, we have cold email, confirmation email subjects follow-up cancellation promo email and announcement email so i'll be showing you with one to see how the flow goes okay so this is the welcome mail okay so this is what you are expected to see the email title and everything okay so i'm going to be showing you an example then generate okay so this is the generated mails well arranged and segmented 
Okay, next we have the uh, male Converse lead bank. Okay, so this is a done for you assets done for you lead bank with amazing assets as you can see right here okay so this is what the preview looks like the preview and it comes with a thank you page yeah and with the assets downloadable assets very editable okay we also have a workspace right here you can create new and you can view all your existing workspace okay all right and that's it on this demo video i wish you all the best thank you